Uh, so this is a portable x-ray fluorescent spectrometer, which we use to measure the chemical composition of uh, objects here at the museum. Um, basically the way it works is that within the gun here, there's actually an x-ray tube, uh, similar to like what you would have at a dentist to x-ray your teeth. And it actually emits x-rays upwards like this under the sample, which is then sitting on top here. Um, so by then measuring different samples, we can look at differences in their chemical composition and link them to geological sources on the basis of that. Uh, what we were doing was looking at obsidian that was excavated from a site called San Jose, Belize. Uh, it was excavated in the early 1930s by J. Eric Thompson, who was a curator here at the Field Museum. And what we wanted to know was where that obsidian came from and how the people at San Jose actually acquired it. So we actually took those materials from San Jose and chemically analyzed them here at our lab uh, and then compared them to geological samples like this one from El Chayal in Guatemala that we have. Uh, and then tried to match up the chemistry of the archaeological materials to the geological materials to determine where they came from originally. Well, it's interesting because this material was excavated in the early 1930s. No one had any notion that you could figure out where this stuff came from originally. So it, it really highlights how older museum collections um, have all kinds of information that can be revealed with modern technology. And, you know, we really don't know what, what archaeologists are going to be using in 30 years, for instance, that will allow us to get even more information out of this or out of our collections here at the museum.